Hello Aries, as promised, here is your how do they feel about you reading. So for a moment, just close your eyes, take a couple of deep breaths and think about your special somebody that you'd like to know how they feel about you. Just drop the cards, sorry about that. Ooh, it's a Nine of Cups. And let's go ahead and see how they feel about you. And don't forget, stay tuned for your main predictions coming up in the next day or two. Ten of Pentacles, very romantic connection with someone had, who has or had all the promise in the world for long-term stability. It was like you entered a connection with someone romantic. You may have been the Knight of Cups, or they may be, or you both may be, sending each other lots of romance and just a lot of romantic and sweet promises to each other. Ten of Pentacles is all about that long-term stability and security that you can rely on. Ten of Pentacles is also talking about finances, so you could also be talking about doing very well financially. And Two of Swords, we're coming up to a um, crossroads in our life where we're starting to question and we're starting to weigh up pros and cons about this Knight of Cups. So Aries, is it at a point in your connection where you're wondering, should you continue? Is there, if it's not a question about your connection, it may be a question about life. Like for instance, work asked you to travel or something and it's like compromising that long-term um, stability. Let's go ahead and clarify sharing Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords. The Knight of Cups has turned into the Queen of Swords and um, the Knight of Cups is now the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is all about sharing, giving generously. Um, so with these four cards, with the Queen of Swords, it's kind of like the Queen of Swords is a bit of a stern person um, who may be, um, you know, not so much in their heart centre as the Nine of Cups. It may be that someone who had all the promise of being a romantic person um, and very sweet and caring and emotional has changed over time and has become a bit more stern. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, it's saying that, um, you know, they're, they're more along the lines of making you feel almost stuck okay now this could also be vice versa just saying okay five of swords with the two of swords there's, there's three swords in six cards there's a lot of swords there's two pentacles which means it's telling me that you are really really wanting or you really want this connection to go the long term and there's only one cup which means that it started with a kiss kind of thing. It started with a lot of romance and, and nice, nice feelings. And the pentacles was showing that, yeah, you can definitely believe and trust this. However, the queen of swords, two of swords and five of swords is it's saying that you may be questioning uh, the motives of whether that Knight of Cups still exists in this person, whether you'll be able to get that back because you really do want this to go the long term. Let me know how that resonates, if it's your story or if it's not. Okay, at the moment we have the Clover, feeling very lucky to have met this person. The Maze is still kind of looking for that person and the Cross, things are becoming... Um, bit burdensome with all the changes that have for some of you you may be in a long distance relationship and your person may be starting to change or 
um, you know, you, this may be you changing areas and saying, you know, I don't know if this is really what I want because I'm starting to make some other decisions about my life that don't really fit the, um, the square that this relationship is offering. So it may just be a turning point in your life where you're wondering which way you should go. So let's get some Amiram's Love Oracle. Uh, love triangle, new love and passion. So for some of you, this could be a love triangle. You may be caught between two, okay? And the six of uh, pentacles and the nine of cups and the clover kind of tell me that if you found something new with someone um, and you do have that very passionate chemistry with them and you're just not quite sure um, which way to turn. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get Dorian Virtue's love, love Oracle and get some more insight for you, Aries. Um, we have give your relationship a chance. That's what I think you're at now. Getting to know each other, that would be possibly someone new or getting to know um, the person that you made the initial commitment with and then as you got to know them, maybe you discovered that they're your soulmate, okay? Or it could very well be that you met your new soulmate. Basically, what this is saying, how do they feel about you? I feel very much this is a projection from your energy areas and you may be at a turning point right now where you're not quite sure which direction is best suited for you. However, with the Ten of Pentacles, I feel that you're very stable and secure with where you are right now. And you're not really considering making any serious changes. However, you're just wondering about this new connection that's around you. All right, let me know what this means, how it resonates, Aries. Don't forget to subscribe and click all notifications on my channel so you don't miss an upload, especially like the one I uploaded just before, Wake Up With Dark Light, as well as your main predictions that are upcoming in the next day or so. All right, sending you love always. Bye for now.